changing that in this generation. Hey, you 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 kind of took the words out of my mouth, <laughs> right? Because you know what what does statistics say? If by the third grade, if a child does not learn to read, they are more likely to be incarcerated. Mm-hmm. Um, so the same thing, you know. Let's switch it to now poverty. At some at, at a certain level, we don't teach them to have a mindset around saving. You know what money is. We can expect poverty, right? So I, I challenge parents that are listening that if you do not, I would say, hold your, your district accountable to ensuring that we have financial literacy in our school in some manner, then we're doing our kids a disservice. Because the reality is you, you send them there because you can't teach them science. You can't teach them math. In a lot of cases, most parents can't teach financial literacy. So then let's put the and hold the institutions that we pay tax dollars to to make sure that they help our kids go to that next level even in that area especially when we're talking about that we are behind statistically they say in the next five years we are ready when you think about you know black wealth we are at 10 percent from a net asset or a net worth compared to our white counterparts but in the next five years, that number is going to lessen even more where we will be in a negative place, wow. negative place. So we're going in the wrong direction. So the only thing that I would encourage you to do again is ask your school districts, are we investing in financial literacy and, and make that a mandate? You have the you hold all the cards. You call the shots. And, and I'll say in my neighborhood, the parents make it a, make you aware that they call the shots. And, and that's just what I just encourage parents to do. Mm. Now, coming from your background, unfortunately, 